Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how you can root your Nexus 9 tablet. This is the easiest method at the moment to do so. You will first need to unlock the bootloader on your device to root it. I do have a tutorial showing you how to do that. You, I will link to it in the description if you uh, need to first unlock your bootloader. So make sure you do that first, otherwise this will not work. All right, once your bootloader is unlocked, we're ready to go. Uh, you're gonna need to download a file. I'll link to it in the description, so make sure you download that file. It'll be called Nexus 9 Root Super SU. Shout out to Chainfire for that. He did a great job on this. Um, you're also going to need to power off your device. Um, once again, your bootloader does need to be unlocked, so power it on down because we need to get into fast boot mode. Once it's shut down, you can go ahead and press and hold the volume down and power button at the same time. So press and hold it, keep it held down, until you get into the bootloader. So here we go, we are now in the bootloader. You'll see right here, it is unlocked. Make sure that says unlocked up at the top. And uh, you're gonna wanna highlight uh, fast boot, use the volume keys to navigate. So highlight fast boot and press the power button. Now make sure in red it says fast boot right there. You can now grab your micro USB cable and plug it into your device. Now we have that all set up. We can, we can now go to our computer where we downloaded that file. All right, so since you should already have your Android SDK and ADB set up on your computer from unlocking your bootloader, we should be good to go. So now the download's gonna look like this. Double click on it and inside you should see some files. What I want you to do is uh, copy the top two. You don't really need the readme text. You can read it if you'd like to. That provides some instructions. Right click on it and hit copy. Now go ahead and go to where you have the Android SDK installed. Double click on it and go to platform tools and then go ahead and paste those two files into that platform tools folder. So you'll see they're both in there right now. Now we're ready to go. What I want you to do is go ahead and hold the shift key on your keyboard, right click, and hit open command window here. It's gonna open a command prompt for us. Again, we do have our uh, device, our Nexus 9 plugged into our computer already, so we should be good to go. Um, you wanna double check and make sure the uh, computer recognizes your device, device. So go to fast boot devices, type that in. Um, there we go. So make sure it says numbers and letters and that lets you know that your device is recognized. If it's not, I will link to the PC drivers in the description. So very simple. Um, right now, again, make sure it's plugged in. Make sure your bootloader is unlocked. Um, computer recognizes our device. So here's what we need to do. Type fastboot space boot space inject dot img. So make sure you do that. Um, I'm going to press enter and we're going to see what happens. You see it's gonna download it and it says finished. So that's it. Didn't change anything on the device and uh, that, was, that was very simple. All right, I take it back. It looks like it did boot, reboot my device. So don't be scared if that happens. And then one more, uh, one more step actually after this. It's another easy step. Just in your command prompt type fast boot space uh, flash boot uh, patched.img. So again, these file names are all right here. Um, you also need to put a space there, my bad. So uh, fastboot space flash space boot space patched.img. So just like that, I will uh, type all these out in the description as well. So go ahead and press enter. And it says, uh, it's gonna go ahead and push this image and it says finished. So I don't know if it's gonna reboot it again. It took a little bit before. Uh, it didn't take long, 1.348 seconds, 1.032 seconds for both of these files. They aren't very large files, but that's it. So now we should be good to go. Um, let's go ahead and you can either just type fast boot reboot actually. So fast boot reboot, and then reboot our device manually. So let's go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna let this boot up. Um, it might take a little bit longer than usual, but it should take about a normal time and I'll be right back once it's done booting up. Anyways, just another great feature of Android to start Android Draw Your Pattern, awesome security feature. Also, you don't need your device plugged in anymore. You can unplug it now, and I'm gonna let this boot back up. All right, so our tablet is fully powered on now, and we should have full root access. So let's go ahead and go to our app drawer. Inside of it, you should see an app called Super SU. Go ahead and tap on it. Um, and uh, you can follow uh, him on Twitter. I'm gonna say no thanks for now. I believe I already follow him. So there we go. So you'll see Super SU is right here. No apps configured yet. Now let's go ahead and configure an app and show you that we do have root access. So let's go to this app I downloaded called Root Checker Basic. And Root Checker Basics, uh, there's gonna be a disclaimer. Um, and hit agree, hit okay. And now all we have to do is hit verify root. It's gonna ask for super user permissions. 
grant it. And there we go. We are now fully rooted. Congratulations, this device has root access according to Root Checker Basic, and it does. Uh, for now, at the, at the time of this video, a lot of root apps might not be updated to work on Android 5.0 Lollipop yet, so just stay tuned now that we have root on uh, 5.0 Lollipop that developers will start updating their apps. Hopefully Exposed gets updated as well, so keep uh, stay tuned for that. I'll try and do updated coverage on that as well. So. There it is. That's how you root your Nexus 9 tablet from Google and HTC. Let me know what you think. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Subscribe to me as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.